Hello and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is episode 27, and let's just hop straight into it. Okay, back on the farm. So, we can talk to Abigail and David Geddes. But, um, sorry, there was a little lag there. But, apparently we can just do these little tasks around. And we can only do cow milking. But, I don't see there's a point in that. It's only going to give us three dollars. So. Um, I also had an idea. I saw other people doing this. When we get the chance to... Oh. That was stupid of me. When we get the, ch the chance to customize John, I'm going to make him look like John Wick. Anyways, let's talk to Abigail. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... Old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater? Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun tired John and I guess I was dreaming a little at least give me that just feels hopeless you're, you're doing better Milton Milton ma'am Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office sure I'll take the boy with me he's getting soft Lancelot Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get. Yeah, let's Take collect some out. mail. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to be? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh... W what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Okay. Teaching him how to ride the wagon. One thing, like, that really pisses me off, Abigail, every time we, like, beat someone up here, she doesn't see the before of it, so she says we had a choice in, like, saving the farm or not. Like, in these things, when, when we beat someone up for getting, getting our wagon back last episode, we really did not have a choice, or else, I mean, they probably wouldn't even took us in to the house if we didn't sa enough. save those products. For now. That kid's strawberry, that kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, 
I got some business to attend to with the cluster. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Okay, approaching it. Strawberry is a really nice town. Is that a trash dump that just releases right, into the river? Here we are. That would not be accepted in today's right, economy. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Great. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Okay, let's collect some mail. Hi, I'm here to- Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. Uh -oh. He just revealed John his John Marston. Name. Marston. Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail. Uh oh, Roberts. that guy recognized us. Abigail. You saw the Roberts. side eye. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes. Uh oh. Er. Uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, uh -oh. I'm a little Let me paranoid help you with now. this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, Mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! Okay. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, Yeah, boy. John senses but something. I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed Let's up. Let's speed up. I don't want to be followed. Okay. See ya. That should be. Mm, we can go. Get my switch. Okay. Yeah, he he got this. Yeah. This is a good speed to be at. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No. Keep driving. Uh oh. That's suspicious. And he's turning towards my direction. Oh no. Let's uh, speed up a little. Faster, please. Yeah, he's still following us. Oh no. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. 
Oh no, oh no. Just keep driving. Yeah, it's over. Oh, no. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, This now. is scary. Uh, come on. Quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Uh oh, that's true. I just had to get rid of that problem. John's dead eye okay. sounds a lot okay. cooler than what? Arthur's, Why? in my opinion. What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Slow now. Can we get home quicker, please? Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pop. Huh? Son, I need you to hold it together. No! Oh! Uh, I, I knew you were soft. This is the world, son. Things like this happen. Not to normal folk. Well, you ought to... Get used to what kind of folk yours is. <laughs> Jesus. We're okay. Why you drive like this? Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Teacher's home. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch. This is fast. I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after were gone, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, okay. Here we are. Jack has How some anxiety it? apparently. Uh, eventful trip. How come he didn't care when he was younger? How young was he even? Don't say hi like to four, mother. right? Five? We can't How tell Abigail. What happened? Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We, followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. <sighs> Look, just do one thing or another. 
Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh, Abigail's mad at us again. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. What you do we gotta do for David right, Geddes smile, again? Smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Uh-oh. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh crap. We don't we don't even have any weapons. It's over. Rich man's Who's this? New hand? This ranch is over. No. Jim. They don't teach mercy in Laramie County. I'll be up in a moment. There we go, got him. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, uh, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. She better not be mad at this. I'll lead the way. It's either this, this or we, we don't live here anymore. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so we have John. Yeah, John's cattleman. Okay. We don't have Arthur's weapons, but okay, it's fine. Look at that sky. That's insane. Off your horses here. We are. We'll be better on foot. It's pretty close, okay. actually. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our Wait, cows. hanging dog ran ranch? A couple guards out front. Me and Sadie burnt this place outside, down. I imagine. Well, let's get a closer look. When I was playing let's with go. Arthur. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep. Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, 
You're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come help me. Word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. Oh, it's so satisfying. We're finally back to shooting. Let's do this. This a pump action. You can shoot. I ain't got time to look after you, kid. Who is this? Pump action time. Okay, that was the last one. I really want to grab all these um guns. That's the fellow who shot my feet up. Not this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. Okay, first we got Litchfield. I don't, I don't really like the leech, leech field much, but I want to just pick up everything. Now we got the double action revolver. Pretty good. Okay. Last one's in here, which we need to go to. So. Here we go. You're the fella that said something about my wife. Oh. Shit shoveling, backwoods, sacka, no good, trash. Come on, get him. Did you see? He's good at fighting. Got him, let's go. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of her. Farmhand! <laughs> Okay, there's a weapon up here. Let's grab it. Is that the bolt action? Nope, Springfield. I forgot this thing existed. And what's over here? Oh, that's downstairs. One second. Okay, 
Okay, sawed off shotgun. Um, for some reason I just realized good girl, that we're wearing Arthur's hat to honor him. Which isn't very honoring because he doesn't like revenge, but I don't know how damaged Pronghorn Ranch is, but we'll see, because I might lose my job again. Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, she's my least favorite character. She's so annoying. Oh my gosh. She would have been dead if we didn't do that. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? OK. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. I haven't I been in this big house yet. Thanks, Abe. What does this message say? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something Yo, to discuss. Yo, Sadie. Pay good meet me in saloon in valentine i'm there most days stop sadie adler i'll be damned All right, let's talk to abigail um are we gonna let her know about sadie I mean, Sadie was a great friend to Arthur. Hopefully same to John now. I mean, it's been like 10 years. What's she up to now? I thought she'd be dead. Abigail. All right, so our wife and son has left us. Yeah, this is not going that good. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail.
Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Okay. At the end of the day, we are just a farmhand for now. Until we find some real enemies. What I do want to do is talk to Sadie, though. You already know I'm an expert milker. That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Go to Geddes' house. We're gonna ask him about the land at Beatrice Hope. So I'm guessing. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Okay, so... Um... Oh, yeah, we're taking all of our stuff, so we are officially leaving. Good. It's not the same without the family here. Are these John's original clothes? Yup, they are. Okay. Out of Pronghorn Ranch. Compendium update, John's knife, okay. So, we can either uh, get the loan right away or talk to Sadie. To be honest, I'm gonna talk to Sadie. And just reunite with old friends. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Wait, we have all our weapons back, let's go. Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast. And I've been living too long Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone This, big this game has some great sure music me running around. I heard a voice that said just settle down And with the moonlight as my guide And with this feeling deep inside I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too long. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. We were in Valentine where Sadie said she would be. I wonder, is this place like any different? Hmm. I guess the buildings look a little bit taller. Nah, they're the same. I remember that building being pink. I mean, sorry, green over there. Something to matter? Hey, Sadie should be in here. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Sadie Robert looks like a bounty hunter. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. 
With a gun? <laughs> nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Oops. Okay, there. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. Let's talk about how Arthur died. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him. Uh, Come on, give me Micah. Back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. Ah, uh, so everyone now. regathered after the Pinkertons I left. Be. I wish we saw that. I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Strawberry. Like I said, the fellow's name is Nathan. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Okay, what about this guy? You seen a you seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? <sighs> no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good Lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. So there's like a whole resort. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's Sadie. There you are. He's in the welcome center. What now? You uh you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. All right, Nathan Kirk, room three, he said? Check it out. Right here. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. <gasps> oh, stop! Oh, Nathan. he's running. That's Nathan Kirk! Let's go. So, got him? Oh, shut up! Did Sadie oh, just get tackled by him? We gotta get after it! Remember, we walk him alive, though. That was so smooth. I oh, would jumped off the balcony and got on my horse. He went wild. Come on. He 
This guy robbed a bank with a pen. Okay. Where are you going? Shit. Mr. Kirk, you'll do yourself an injury. This horse is pretty fast. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. You carry on. We're not in range yet, damn it. I'm gonna loot him first. Mind if See I if he has anything else. Thanks show. for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man! But it's all a mistake! My wife! My wife is a is a desperate woman. How are you, how are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She me. Uh, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So <laughs> I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right. And let's go grab a loan from the bank. We're going back to Blackwater. Wait, I... All this talk about Blackwater in this whole game, and I've never seen what it looks like. Okay, here we are at Blackwater. We've only seen this, seen a view from Blackwater, like, from a mountain. It actually has some pretty modern looking buildings, though. Wow. It looks like just one road of stripped from Saint Denis. Before I want to take out this loan, hey, I do kind of want to check out our wardrobe and all this stuff. What can I do for you? Hello, come on in. Now then, let's have a look here. Okay, outfits. The Josiah. Let's check that. It's pretty cool. McLaughlin. McLaughlin. I actually like that one. Don Gal. Mm, it's all right. And the Farrier. Damn. Okay. I like that Could too. Please get this over and done with. And then, so if do we keep all of Arthur's clothing? Cause if so. I am going to make myself an outfit. Okay, I got on my new outfit and I'm gonna cut my hair finally. Let's trim all of it. Hmm. I forgot how John looks like without. Th he looks different than uh, how he looked like in. Hmm. Kind of like three. Okay. And hair. Styles. Let's get the middle parted fade. Okay. And so here is my outfit. Stranger. Pretty cool. Nice little change from the other one. And let's go take out that loan now. Partner? Mister? Uh, excuse me. I actually really like Blackwater. It's probably my second favorite other than Saint Denis. Hola. Hi, mister. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office, 
Hey, please head in. Can I Thank help? Thank you. Yeah. I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. We'll deal with those squatters. All right, I have been recording for quite a while, so uh, I will not be going on to that land in this episode, but I will in next episode, so uh, sorry for ending it so abruptly, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and we're finally getting on to our gunslinger ways now.